All right, let's talk about templates. So first of all, imagine I have a situation where I have a function that could be basically the same for multiple different types. So let's say I've got an int square that receives an integer um, num and it returns the square of that number. So return, so num times num. All right, so that looks fine. Now I say, well, I want to create one that's a, a, a double and one that's a short and maybe I want to do a long and I want to do other things. So I can take this and say, okay, fine. I'm going to convert this into a template. So I use the word template and then I pass it the type. So I do type name, but I pass it the type right here as some letter. So basically I'm saying that in my function below, whenever I see a T, it's going to be the type. So I take this thing right here and I replace it. So T and replace this one with T. All right. So now I have this template function and it takes a type T, whatever that is, and it does some stuff with it and returns it as a type T. Now this could be a float, a double, and whatever it could be. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use this. So if I want to have, let's say I want to int, so int a, and that's going to be equal to the square of some number. So I'll do square, and I will do a square. And I tell it what type it is. So in these brackets right here, these less than greater than brackets, I say, well, this one's going to be an int. And I'm going to pass it the number five. So now this thing right here is going to generate five squared. So I'll go ahead and display right here. So A is five. Let's do a, actually, let's do a, a float version. So B is going to be a square of type float and we'll pass the number five again. So now I will show you B and then we'll do C. So B and down here we'll do C. And so for C, I'm going to do a char. That should be a little weird. Um, and we will do a square char and pass in the number five. So I take all this and I run it and you can see that this the same function up here is going to be created into basically three different functions and each one's going to run. So now you can see that 25, 25 and the down arrow. So that must be what the 25 is in the ASCII table. But this gives you an idea of how to write templates. So you start with the word template, you have a type name, the letter you're going to use, and then use that letter inside of it in place of the type of the variable. And there you go.